Mike Burdock. It happened in London, England, in the middle of the day. When I read the story, I was so moved. Everybody knows about my 13,000 book library. They also know I gave it away a few weeks ago to a lady buying one of my homes. I have a big library and I had 13,000. She said, I'll buy your house if you'll let me have all your books. Oh, of course. I can buy more books. One of the most famous preachers in the world is Charles Spurgeon. Charles H. Spurgeon. He was the Billy Graham of his day. Pastor a huge church called Metropolitan Tabernacle. Workers were working all over his big church. He decided to go inside to the platform and test the sound. And he used the scripture, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son a carpenter on the roof stopped suddenly to listen to him quote that scripture. And broke down crying and gave his life to Christ. When I read that, I was stunned to my heart. Miracles can happen in 60 seconds. A prayer can be answered a hundred miles away from you. I stared and stared and read that story repeatedly. Charles Spurgeon didn't know anybody was hearing him. The purpose of his quoting the scripture was to test the sound effects we call the acoustics in his beautiful sanctuary. But somebody heard him. And somebody was changed by one scripture. It doesn't take a year to make a change. It takes changing a focus. You can hear something for 30 seconds that can stop the pain of 25 years of your life. What you hear decides what you feel. I see five things here, but I'll give you two or three. Number one, do you know the power of a single scripture? Do you know the power of one quoted scripture? Number two, you never know who's listening to you. You never know who's listening to you. Conversations are the birthplaces for miracles. A single conversation can remove all your doubts, all your fears, all your sorrows. 
Several months ago, the Lord pounded in me here in my Jesus place. A single, single sentence that sounded so simple. He said, just be a good experience for somebody. Here in my little mentorship moments with Mike Murdoch, I want to come back tonight. I'm going to make maybe six or seven little videos here. And I'm going to share some miraculous things. The difference in men is who they admire. If I know who you admire, I can anticipate, predict, prophesy the changes you will make in your life. I want to tell you about two preachers and one the whole world's heard about when I come back. Mike Murdoch here.